Hi folks, I may have very good news for you because it appears that Sony will release a major firmware update for the A1 for the flagship camera and I will uh, talk about this uh, soon but before that please take two seconds time to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button to not miss any of my upcoming videos. As you may remember Sony has a uh, over $6,000 flagship alpha camera that didn't get any really important firmware update for years now. People are uh, justified to complain about this because in the meantime we got very uh, affordable cameras like for example the FX30 that has some software features that the A1 doesn't have. This includes for example uh, focus breathing control, EF assist and animal eye AF in video. Uh, three features that are just software features and could be easily implemented on the A1 but also on the E7S4 and other cameras that are much more expensive and Sony's strategy on the firmware uh, roadmap is quite odd because uh, basically newer cameras get new features and the older, more expensive cameras uh, don't get uh, those software features via firmware update. I'm not talking about features that are uh, heavily related on new hardware, which of course are not possible to be uh, implemented on all the cameras. I'm just talking about very easy software features and this created quite some buzz on the web. Uh, I also talked about this a couple of months ago. I think Sony has to change it. Um, because the competition is actually doing it right, like for example Nikon, Panasonic, they are very consistent with their firmware strategy, adding new features whenever they can. And in the long term, uh, if Sony doesn't catch up, they will lose some market share, uh, so they can just simply ignore it because uh, others are doing it right. So uh, I believe Sony uh, got the message and I believe that we can see some improvements in the future and in the specifics about the A1 uh, this the, a, the manager in head of the A1 development and um, firmware strategy apparently told to some guys I'm not going to name them of course and those some guys told me that the Sony A1 will get a major firmware update so I underline underscore that they said major so this will not be a bug fix, up, bug fix update but really something big um, they didn't tell me what we will get but I hope that uh, some of the features we see on the FX3, FX30 and uh, newer ZV cameras will be implemented on the one so again uh, focus breathing control um, the assist uh, EF the uh, animal a uh, animal eye EF in video but also some probably um, layout changes on when recording video and uh, yet yeah, now it would be super if they would even try to add something very new that you don't see on low-end cameras I think that would create again the confidence that Sony is now serious about keeping uh, their expensive cameras uh, up to date. Um, the, this would be a good signal. So fingers crossed that we are getting that firmware update soon. Uh, the info was that it would be announced uh, certainly before the year end. So it means like October, November. And um, also because from what I heard, there is no A1 successor coming anytime soon. So if they want to still sell meaningful numbers of A1 cameras. They have to update it via firmware update to keep it competitive with the competition. Also because the competition is offering some cameras that are more affordable and have more features than the A1. Of course, you're not buying, when you buy the A1, you don't only buy the camera, but you, but you buy yourself into an ecosystem and Sony has an advantage when it comes to uh, lenses uh, because their lenses are really truly excellent and also we have many third-party lenses so you always have to see a camera as a part of an ecosystem not just the camera so I understand people complaining about Sony about uh, some of the aspects of the camera strategy but you always um, miss the big pictures sometimes so um, and no camera manufacturer is always perfect and so fingers crossed that we will get the a1 major firmware update with uh, some of the features I mentioned plus just crossing my fingers for some new features that I don't know about. I also hope they 
plan to do the same for the E7S IV, which also didn't get some major firmware update recently. And um, for the rest, uh, stay tuned on this channel because I have some more info about the A93 coming down the road. So uh, this will be the next camera. Uh, like I told you, the A12 is not coming anytime for soon for at least for 12 months we will not get a new a12 camera so uh, it's very important that sony will keep that camera up to date that's it for today folks see you soon